Hello, my name is Sanjan John. I am from UCU department, C section. Today I am here to comment on petroleum refinery engineering, the courses, the employment and its hazards. First of all, petroleum refining process are the chemical process and facilities that are used to transform crude oil into useful products such as LPG, kerosene, petrol, jet fuels, etc. Now we know what petroleum refining process is. So the next question is, what do petroleum engineers do? Actually, they design, modify and troubleshoot the equipment that are used for the petroleum refinery process. The petroleum refinery process are mainly carried out in a refinery. The chief responsibility of petroleum refining, refining engineers are to extract oil and gas from within the earth. The reservoirs are mainly found underground. When a reservoir is discovered, the petroleum engineers work closely with the scientists to extend the yield and to improve productivity. They work in teams to achieve this milestone as drilling engineers, as production engineers, as reservoir engineers and as completion engineers. The reservoir engineers mainly look out the resources, search for the resources and also calculate its yield and will try to maximize the yield of a resource. The drilling engineers will modify and also bring out, invent new equipment to maximize the drilling process. They drill up the wells that are required to extract the resources. The completion engineers work to complete these processes, complete the well in such a way that more and more resources can be extracted from the earth. The production engineers. After all the completion work is done, the well is entrusted to the production engineers. They look at the production, its yields and its transformation, crude oils, etc. The courses for petroleum engineering are in demand nowadays. The popular courses to pursue a career in petroleum engineering in India are Diploma in Petroleum Engineering, B.Tech in Petroleum Engineering, B.Tech in Gas and Applied Petroleum Engineering, M.Tech in Petroleum Engineering, chemical engineering, etc. Petroleum refining sector consists of large number of electrical systems, machines and also requires construction of special structures and installations. All this means that the engineers belonging to the core branches are also in demand when it comes to this sector. That's happy news. Crude oil is one of the most important resources that we have ever discovered. The products made from crude oil have transformed our world literally and figuratively beyond all recognition. As we have been informed again and again, the crude oil is not in infinite supply. A 2022 survey states that there is 47 years of oil to be extracted. Even with this data, it is expected that there is an 8% growth in petroleum engineering jobs in the coming 10 years. First of all, petroleum engineering is an expanding field. As the world relies more on oil and gas, the demand for petroleum engineers is also expected to grow. Also, petroleum engineering offers excellent pay and benefits. Most positions in this job offers competitive salaries and benefit packages such as insurance, retirement plan and vacation days. In sum, there are excellent prospects for a successful career in petroleum engineering. The methods of extracting, transporting, processing and refining of oil and gas is very complicated and process threats to the workers and assets. One of the main hazard is caused by fire or explosion, which is resulted by the flammable objects that are in the vicinity. In this line of work, workers have to endure many problems such as they have to work in confined spaces. Historically, workers have died because necessary precautions weren't taken. Although it's normal for workers to work in confined spaces in refineries. Also, they have to endure hot work. Hot work operations include welding, soldering, grinding, cutting and throwing, etc. Or any work that is that induces heat and there is a need of a spark. It's called hot work. Petroleum refineries also cause hazard to the environment, which includes air, water and soil pollution. Petroleum refineries are a major source of hazardous and toxic air pollutants, such as benzene, toluene, xylene, 
etc. Some of these chemicals released are known or suspected cancer causing agents responsible for developmental and reproductive problems. They may also aggravate certain respiratory conditions such as childhood asthma. Refineries are also potential major contributors to groundwater and surface water contamination. Some refineries use deep injection wells to dispose of wastewater generated inside plants and some of these wastes end up in aquifers and groundwater. These wastes are then regulated under the Safe Drinking Water Act SDWA. Contamination of soils from the refining process is generally a less significant problem when compared to contamination of air and water. Past production practices may have led to spills on the refinery property that now needed to be cleaned up. Natural bacteria that may use the petroleum products as food are often effective at cleaning up petroleum spills and leaks compared to many other pollutants. Many residuals are produced during the refining process and some of them are recycled through other stages in the process. By saying this, I conclude my words. Thank you.